All right, we're bringing you more developments on the series of meetings that are taking place as we speak right now. Remember, tomorrow is the big day for both the United States and India as you're going to have Prime Minister Modi, US President Joe Biden and their delegations sit together and discuss in more concrete terms bilateral relations. Now, defense is going to be the key theme of the visit according to senior State Department officials in the United States. The defense relationship between the US and India would be a key theme. Remember, we know already that strategy and technology both are also going to be key themes. But this statement really emphasizes how far it is defense that will trump the other two. Now, we know already to some degree of the, the, uh, the largeness of the defense deals that will be reached. My colleague Abhishek is with us to tell us more. Abhishek, this statement is not entirely surprising. We did know uh, the, the, the size of the defense deals that the two countries hope to reach. I'm going to ask you to tell us more about this statement that's just been issued. Then I'm going to ask you to tell us more about the defense deals we do know about already. So the, the current deal that we have been talking about uh, has been a predatory drone MQ-9 drone uh, that is visually used for, uh, used for surveillance purpose and uh, Indian military, uh, Navy and Air Force are expected to use that drone if it happens to be purchased by India and the deal which is uh, uh, by varied sources it has been uh, po pointed somewhere around 2.5 to 3.5 billion dollars depending on the number of articles that India is going to purchase from USA side. Uh, also there are uh, you know, talks about jet engine supplies from uh, GE Technologies and we have seen in the morning uh, Prime Minister uh, had a meeting with CEO of GE Technologies also whether the deal of uh, supply of those jet uh, engines to India and the transfer of technologies was discussed between the two, two sides has not been made public yet but uh, there are talks that in US has agreed to partner India where it will be transferring technologies and at one point it, about 80 percent of uh, the product will be made by Indians uh, and HAL Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is going to be the Indian partner uh, in that overall uh, project. Uh, other than that uh, there are a, a major uh, defense deals or defense partnership that are very much in line uh, and India is uh, needing those uh, defense uh, partnership because of the growing uh, you know geopolitical tensions that India is facing at its uh, northern border as well. Uh, and also India's other security challenges, India's, uh, you know, widening uh, presence and dominance in in Indo, Indo Pacific or Indian Ocean, where India has also, uh, you know, trying to establish itself as the first responder in the hour of crisis for other smaller countries as well. Uh, we remember uh, there has been instances where India has responded to the uh, SOS calls by other uh, other ships. There have been instances recently. Uh, there was this Chinese. Uh, crew that was stranded and Indian uh, surveillance equipments had helped uh, pinpoint those, uh, uh, those, those people. So uh, there, the, those surveillance uh, equipments are not only for the purpose of defense or aggression or attack and during the time of war, but they are used in the time of uh, natural disaster and calamity and okay. uh, for the use of purpose also. Yes. Okay. Abhishek, thank you for those details. As my colleague Abhishek was saying, Several particularly important defense deals are going to be signed. These will allow India to make their very own advanced jet engines. India will be one of only five countries that can do that across the world right now. It's time for a short break. On the other side, more of the country's top stories, but we're focusing 